Hello everybody, it's Rashida again. I thought I would do a part two to my first video on now that I'm here at the county, how is Rashida's life at the Office of Diversity and Equity in Multnomah County as an admin specialist? Well, as an admin specialist, it actually comes second nature to me because as Rashida, I am already detail-oriented, I am organized, and I am very unique. Um, and I'm introverted. I'm introverted. I like to be alone in my own space. So even though we have cubes, I'm pretty sure I will be getting a office soon enough. But for now, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy um, having a computer. I have two computers, actually. Um, so anyways, here's a typical day for me. Um, when I come in, the first thing I do is sit down and turn on my computer, check emails, look on my phone and see if there's any voicemails left. Most of the time there's not. Most of the time there's just emails. Um, I also check our calendar. I manage my supervisors and my calendar. I look on there and see if there's anything that I need to be at at the time or later. Also the same for him. Um, he is a very busy person so he really relies on me to be on top of things like that because um, he can't forget. Uh, let's see what else. I schedule appointments if there's any appointments that need to be scheduled. Um, meetings. I have access to the meeting rooms in the building which is cool. At first I thought that was going to be a lot of work but it's really helpful being able to have access to the rooms and Actually, that's probably my favorite part of the job is um, scheduling meetings because I have access to the rooms, so all I have to do is just check and see which rooms are available, how many people are needed. Scheduling is, is fun. It's like putting together a puzzle, you know, which time and how long, with who. Uh, let's see. Also, in addition to supporting the my supervisor, the CDEO officer, I like to work on my own projects because sometimes you'll have downtime, especially in a new office like ours, you'll have downtime. And in addition to me being unique and wanting to shine, I do like to find things to work on that shows my character and shows what I can provide to wherever I'm at. So one thing I do is I help support the our employee resource groups. Um, well the person before me was supporting them so I guess it's not really special special but uh, how I can make it special is finding out different ways to, you know, different projects. Like one thing I'm working on is our recruitment, trying to get more members in their groups. Um, although that wasn't worked on yet, um, that actually wasn't my idea. So, but I'm pretty sure there's still some time for me to get a really good idea going. Um, we're organizing a campaign and we're offering a training. You know, whoever thought that I would be training something that I just, you know, got the hang of. So I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what else. I also asked my supervisor other projects, stretch assignments that I can do to keep myself productive and keep my skills going. Um, other than that, when I'm not working on a project, I try to strengthen my skills in any way that I can. We have a diversity library. Um, if anything looks interesting, I'll pick up a book and read it. 
Uh, I also will take the time to look at our Commons website and our public website. There's always things you can know. There's always things you can find out because the county is always doing something. We have like eight or nine different departments. So there's always something to learn. Uh, we also provide trainings. That's one advantage of working at the county. There's trainings. Um, and the, it's so convenient because they're right downstairs from me. I can just go down and take computer training on Excel or Word or or whatever it may be to strengthen my skills and knowledge and be a good support to my team. Um, I'm also looking into doing more leadership roles. We have a leadership academy, a program here that I'll probably get into next year. And um, there's a national thing known as Toastmaster. The county now has one of those here and I am participating in that now. I'm also trying to work on my speaking. Um, I don't have a huge role where I have to be out in the public yet, but I still do present to groups and things like that. So I think it's always good to have speaking training whenever you're going to be speaking in front of a group because it's important to get your word out and to do that without boring people you know so I really want to be an effective speaker and communicator you know so in my last thing I work on my networking I'm a pretty good networker um, compared to my years ago as a child but um, I also I really work on my networking I really think it's good to know people and and just network it's just a really good tool it's really good to know people it really is and that's my work at the county no two days are the same but one thing's for sure I do love my job